I'm auto specialist Tom Volk for the Seattle International Auto Show, and the Ford F-150 Lightning EV is a game changer, and the mega frunk is just the beginning. Unless you're living under a pile of rocks the size of a Ford F-150's payload capacity, you know that the Lightning is the first all-electric pickup from the Blue Oval folks, and that it's sold out for the foreseeable future if you didn't order a year ago, even though the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center in Dearborn, Michigan was expanded to meet demand. Chances are you can't even test drive one. So here's a close look at an XLT model in antimatter blue priced at $76,400 to help you decide if it's worth the wait. All Lightnings do the chores with a five and a half foot bed and a super crew cab. Want a different configuration? Well, Ford has gas powered F-150s to choose from, including hybrid powertrains. Lightning is a dual motor setup with all wheels driven, Choose the standard 98 kilowatt hour battery and total power is 452 horsepower. This XLT runs with the 131 kilowatt hour extended range pack that ups the oomph to 580 horsepower. Both battery configurations deliver 775 pound feet of torque. This is not an all new architecture, but the rear suspension is independent, unique to F-150. Losing the engine means an empty space in the nose. I've never done the TP trunk test with a pickup truck before because beds, those are for plywood and motorcycles. F-150 Lightning has the mega, mega power, power frunk. frunk. Is the echo too much? I kind of like it. It's not just a small cave. For starters, the hefty floor panel hides space for the standard switchable charge cord that Ford tosses in for free. There's a drain for ice chest use. Uh, technically, that's not tailgating, is it? Heavy enough to use as a weapon, it's a divider to stop things from sliding around. That's just great creative product planning. And Ford, give the designer who thought up the molded in ruler a raise. Tie downs, check. Lighting, that's helpful shouldn't run out of outlets for running camping gear or tools either. Ford says two bags of clubs will stash in here. It's 400 liters or 14.4 cubic feet. And not everyone's a golfer. I think everyone can relate to this. About the same size as a carry-on suitcase. Since it's squeezable, I could have wedged four packs in, but let's call it an easy three. People love the visual of the mega franc. The opening and closing sound is not the most elegant of operations at least this one. With the big battery pack, F-150 Lightning will shoot from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. It's not that long ago. That was high performance sports car territory. And this weighs 6,800 pounds. <laughs> Man, that's fast. And I'm really familiar with EV dynamics, the instant torque, the lack of engine noise. But this, this is so familiar, the dashboard of an F-150. No engine growl is very disorienting. It's so quiet. It does take a while to get used to. Some will miss the din of pumping pistons. Maybe in these stressful times, the sounds we need are these. Not this. Just a thought. Ford says this is the most aerodynamic F-150 ever, and that might be true, but it's the shape of a shoebox. There's going to be some wind noise coming off the front end and the A-pillar, but it's really not bad. In fact, it shows how quiet this vehicle is. Only a little bit of road noise coming through. It's as hushed as a luxury sedan, like a Lexus LS? Seriously. People and animals don't hear it coming. Drivers might want to be more careful, or maybe these crows have severe hearing loss. Selectable performance sounds inside the cabin are exclusive to Platinum models. Hopping into the Lightning, there's a nice splash screen greeting sequence. You'll never forget you bought a Ford. Not anything in the way of sound design. On startup, no tones, just another reminder of what you bought. 
Being an EV, there's no geared transmission, just a selector. Rising into place is a cool visual. The tachometer is replaced by a battery gauge and regen meter. There's a lockable rear diff setting. Ford's Pro Trailer Backup Assist is part of the $1,400 tow tech package. Drive modes are pretty straightforward. The recuperation drag has a single on-off setting that's not available in off-road or tow. There are temperature gauges for the battery and motors. Without noise, it's easy to forget that this truck is running and in gear. I appreciate that when the door is opened, it shifts into park automatically. Let's get out and drive some more. First up, how far will this go on a charge? With the extended range battery pack, the EPA rates the F-150 at 320 miles of range. In mixed driving, I'm seeing about 290, temperatures in the 70s. The top Platinum trim drops in range a bit to an EPA rated 300 miles. Over five years, Lightning's fueling costs are $11,000 less than an F-150, and that's with the hybrid powertrain, and on average around 14 grand less than gas-only F-150s, Silverados, and Rams, plus Toyota Tundra Hybrid. Max payload is 2,235 pounds. Properly equipped, this will pull up to five tons, and deep rich torque is good for that. The extra weight and aerodynamic drag will definitely affect range. When tugging big heavy loads, expect that to drop at least 40%. When charging at an Electrify America station, no need to use an app or credit card. Just plug into the Lightning and it just juices up. Owners get one bill, no matter how many providers are used. And remember that DC fast charging is much more expensive than taking on electricity at home, where some 85% of charging is done. Using the charge cord that Ford supplies in 240 current, Lightning takes about 20 hours to charge from 15 to 100 percent. Now, you can drop that to 8 by using a dedicated wall charger on an 80 amp circuit. Here at this 150 kilowatt station, it'll go from 15 to 80 percent in about 40 minutes. I'm not spending tons of time on the interior. Since F-150 is the most popular vehicle sold in the U.S. and Lightning's cabin is essentially the same, most buyers interested in a pickup know exactly what the space is about. The wheel is heated, so are the seats that are comfortable and supportive. If you were wondering about the motorized shift stock, uh, well, here's why. This is great for working on a computer at the worksite or for lunching, <laughs> though I'd rather be eating a Big Mac and fries. The crew cab has enough room for, well, a crew of three construction workers, just like a gas-powered F-150. Same goes for the five and a half foot bed. There are loads of slots to divide the space, so gear doesn't roll around. And Pro Power on board delivers 9.6 kilowatts of power with 11 outlets to run tools, grills, refrigerators, and DJ setups, even charge another EV. You may have heard, if the power goes out, a fully charged Lightning can run the average house for about three days, 10 if you're really, really careful. Buying the right pickup has always been about assessing your needs and getting the right machine for the job. This is no different. Lightning will cover the needs of a lot of buyers. Full electrification suits the F-150 to a T. Check to see if your local Ford showroom has one in stock to look at. As you might imagine, trucks this good leave the lot quickly. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.